Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to rebuild your iTunes library from your iPod, iPhone, or iPad in one click using iSkySoft iTransfer. There are a couple reasons of why you might want to rebuild your iTunes library. For one, iTunes can be really bulky and slow and sometimes crash. You may need to switch your iTunes to a new computer, or you might have lost your iTunes library and all you have is what's on your device. So, by using iSkySoft iTransfer, we can easily rebuild our iTunes library based on a device we plug in. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step, of course, is to go ahead and launch the program itself. And once the program is loaded up, we'll go ahead and connect our iOS device to our computer. And then your device will go ahead and connect and sync with iTransfer for you. So now all we have to do is go ahead and click on Rebuild iTunes Library. It's just a one-click button. And it's going to bring up a dialog that says copy media from your iOS device to your iTunes library. And it will also auto detect different types of files on your device. So we'll go ahead and click on start to get started. It's then going to load up all of the media on our device as well as our iTunes library. And once it's complete we can go ahead and start selecting the files we want to use to rebuild our iTunes library. As you can see down here it says we don't have enough space to back up and we need to free up some space. So instead of doing that, we're just going to deselect the big chunk here because it does tell us how much space each of these take up, in this case 8.25 gigabytes. So I'll go ahead and start deselecting the media that I don't want. And here I've got these podcasts here that I want to get rebuilt into my iTunes library. And to do that, we're just going to make sure we have it selected, click on copy to iTunes, and now it's going to go through and copy those files to our iTunes library, thus rebuilding it. And then once it's complete, it'll say copy completed, iTransfer will restart your iTunes. So we'll click on OK. And now it's going to go ahead and restart iTunes for us. And now we've successfully transferred the files from our device into our iTunes library. And once we're done, we'll just click on complete. And of course, if you have any more files you want to rebuild into your library, you can just go back and click on the button and go through the prompts. But that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you rebuild your iTunes library from your iPod, iPhone, or iPad in one click using iSkySoft iTransfer.